How does a small town guy from the middle of nowhere become a multiple time world champion and household name? Michael Chandler was born in 1984 in the tiny town of High Ridge, Missouri. Population, 4,200. This small town instilled a small mindset in him. Buy a house, have a family, and die. But he started wrestling at the age of five, and by the time he was a senior in high school, realized he could potentially be something great. This is where we start to see glimpses of Chandler's greatness. Well, Michael had broken his hand in football. Next thing you know, we see him in the weight room in a cast, and he's doing one arm snatches and cleans. Due to a combination of his work ethic and commitment, he made it all the way to the state finals his senior year. But he loses in an extremely close match. This is where he faces his first crossroads. He had a bunch of colleges that were going to give him a nice sum of money. But the University of Missouri, the school with one of the most elite wrestling programs in the nation, only offered him a spot as a walk-on. A walk-on is being on a college team and receiving no financial aid. On top of costing more, walk-ons are notorious for not receiving playing time. The people in his life urged him to take the scholarship, but he chose to take a chance on himself and attended the University of Missouri. But everybody was like, why are you doing that? What are you thinking? You know, what's your goal? You want to just go not start you know you just want to go wrestle for five years and be a be a, a, a wrestling partner be a training partner for five years to understand chandler better we must first understand one of the most famous historical events ever in 1519 spanish conquistador hernan cortez decided he wanted to seize the treasure the aztecs possessed many had tried to conquer the aztecs over the past 600 years but all had failed his men knew this and began having second thoughts once they arrived cortez heard about this and lit all of his ships on fire they would either conquer the Aztecs or they would all die. Cortez, with an army of only 600, conquered a city of 300,000. This all-in mentality is now commonly referred to as burning the boats, and it is observed in Chandler all throughout his life. He eventually clawed his way onto the team and became a Division I All-American and eventually the team captain. And it was here that he wrestled with and became close friends with Tyron Woodley and Ben Askren. He would go on to amass over 100 wins and become a Division I All-American, which is one of the absolute best achievements in wrestling. After graduating college, he was again at a crossroads. As a highly intelligent guy, the path to enter the workforce with his business degree seemed like the way. But his close friends Tyron and Ben were pursuing MMA and dominating, which caused him to entertain the idea. He didn't need to entertain it for long, as two months after his graduation, he took his first fight. With Michael Chandler. He burned the boats once again and chose the risky career over the safe path. Chandler would go on to become world champion within two years of his first fight, tapping out the underground king Eddie Alvarez in November of 2011. Burning the boats works because your brain is programmed to seek comfort and safety. It will always pull you in the direction of an easier path. When you burn the boats and fully commit to a challenge, there is no easier path. The brain, still seeking comfort and safety, is now in a situation where the only way to comfort and safety is through the challenge, which leads to 100% commitment to that challenge. And being 100% committed is actually easier than being 99.9% .9 committed. Because when you're 99.9% .9 committed, you will face decision fatigue. Decision fatigue is the idea that you have a finite amount of mental energy each day, and every decision you make costs some of it. If you have a difficult path and a safe alternative, you will spend some of your mental energy every single day deciding whether to stay on the difficult path or not. When you remove the safe alternative, there is no more decision fatigue, as there are no other options. Every ounce of your mental energy will now go toward achieving the goal, and not the alternative safe route. It's why Michael Jordan said, once I made a decision, I never thought about it again. He fights like he's willing to die because every ounce of his being is committed to his goal of becoming champion. In Bellator, he would defend his belt three more times before his first loss. And that stemmed into another loss and another loss. I actually lost three fights in a row, 688 days without winning a fight. Despite 688 days without a win and a lot of time to sit and stew in that self-doubt, he knew he could get back to his winning ways. He would go on an incredible winning streak and challenge the reigning champion in an attempt to reclaim his belt. He dominates the fight, reclaims his belt, and is once again world champion. Now one of the biggest names in Bellator, the safe path would have been to stay there and collect his checks until retirement. But he wanted to prove to himself that he was the best lightweight alive and, you guessed it, burn the boats. It's Michael Chandler who is now a UFC lightweight, introducing him like that for the first time. He also has Identity Capital on his side. Identity Capital is ownership over your past. 
When you've watched yourself do difficult things, you have ownership over those things and it gives you confidence to do difficult things in the future. And you start to see little successes and then you pat yourself on the back for having that success because now you are you are having the self-awareness to, to say A plus B equals C, it's black and white. If I continue to believe in myself, this practice, good things happen. This mm -hmm. business, this business deal went through because I had the confidence to, to see it through. Chandler's successes range from going from a walk-on to an All-American, going from an amateur fighter to a professional world champion, and going from Bellator to breaking into the UFC top five. At every crossroads of Michael Chandler's life, he burned the boats and chose the riskier option. And each time it paid off, it gave him more confidence to take on bigger challenges. Going all in on himself maximized his odds of succeeding each time, and even if he failed, he would rather fail while daring greatly than never dare at all.